It's Lexi's final play date with her new Adobe friend Abe, and then we're hitting the road. Good morning. We started our journey back towards Vegas, <laughs> and everybody keeps telling us that we have to go visit Crater Lake. So we kind of altered our route on the way back to be able to do that. And last night we camped maybe an hour and a half or so away from Crater Lake, just outside of Roseburg. And we're taking a nice little walk this mm -hmm. morning in this super beautiful area. Yeah, we're, we're kind of transitioning over the next couple of days from Oregon, which has its really special shade of green back to the desert, uh, which is kind of like a pretty wild transition, both completely beautiful, but so different. So we just got done having a nice morning walk, exploring around here, and we're gonna hit the road again and head towards Crater Lake. We'll see you there. So we made it to Crater Lake. Uh, just got in on the north entrance and it is really gorgeous. So I think we're gonna drive around, try to find a trail to give ex Lexi some exercise. Yep. And do a little <laughs> more exploring. And we'll pick you up there. That's fine. <laughs> that is gorgeous. The color, like the blue and the green, the contrast, and the white snow. Oh my god. So we saw a sign for what was called Annie Falls off the highway. And we're like, okay, let's let's stop and and see what it is. There's been some really beautiful waterfalls in, in Oregon, so we'll check this one out. And we've been walking around this area, which is very pretty, for probably 10 minutes. And these mysterious Annie Falls is nowhere to be found. So <laughs> if we find them, we'll show them to you. All right, so we spotted them. They're not super easy to see. And it's down behind those trees. So we're out for our usual morning little walk. Uh, we found a really cool space to camp last night. It was a little sketchy getting into. If you can see this hill we're walking down, I know yeah. in camera it doesn't always display it very well, but it was Super a little bit sketchy. of a scary uh, <laughs> ordeal like, because we were looking for, you know, the best spot far away from people, you know, and a good pull off. And we probably had to drive, I don't know, three or four or five miles maybe on just super rough rocky roads and we don't really have uh, any recovery equipment right now for the van so we were just hoping for the best <laughs> but uh, we found a really really awesome spot for the night and woke up just to just to gorgeous views everywhere it's just really beautiful around here there's a little creek somewhere down there we're gonna go see if we can find Get a little peek at the creek. <laughs> and we finally found a little path down to the water. It's not flowing quite as much around here. It's still a pretty little stream. I am really happy here. I think I love my desert. Like this is kind of the um, Great Basin, high desert. You know, you go up in elevation and you get into like the pine trees and all that stuff, but it's still like part of that community. It's still drier. And we come back here and I get really happy. <laughs> this is nice. So we stopped to check out these really cool boulders that seem to be kind of in the middle of like nowhere. There's not really a lot of rocks around here except for these giant massive rocks that have must have rolled downhill or something. They're gorgeous. I don't though. know, but they're really cool. Let's 
feel the textures that are on them. Lexi's really into them too. And Lexi's uh, trying to <laughs> conquer the boulder mountain. <laughs> What's on there? <laughs> feel the lichen and like moss and... Oh, Lexi. Oh, oh. thanks. That was no, Lex, she's stay like here. A skateboarder. <laughs> I know. What a crazy girl. Oh my god. Alright, Lex, come here. Lex, come here, baby. Before you fall down. <laughs> come on, folks. Let's go. She really wants she's really been wanting a higher element like a higher perch to look out of. <laughs> so we just got done with our morning hike. And we're gonna start cooking breakfast. <laughs> Enchanté. This is our primitive dishwashing setup right now. Since we don't have a finished van yet. I don't know if we've shown you the inside. It's not, uh, <laughs> it's not super pretty right yeah, now. Yeah, it's very unorganized, but I guess this is what happens when you live in a small space sometimes that doesn't have any cabinets or, or uh, storage or a sink. We've got big plans, though. Yeah, we've got plans. It'll it's all just, be finished at some point. It's, it's just, just slow. Slow going. Slow going between work and uh, life. Sleepy. Look at this sleepy puppy. He looks so comfortable in there. Uncomfortable. So we're all packed up in our beautiful camping spot for the night. Wish we had some more time to actually s stay here. I would definitely stay here for like yeah a week if I could. Yeah, if we had like Wi-Fi, we were talking about it. I mean, it would be like amazing. We need cell service. Cell service, whatever. <laughs> the thing that allows us to have access to the outside world. We could work from here. Like we were think we were talking about it like Steve could edit video and I could write and yeah, if we could We'll get it figured out. Yeah, be magical. But definitely come back to the spot. It's really beautiful. So Ooh, that reminds me. I have gotta enter it. We'll see if if my maps app if I can I beat Drop you to it. it. You did, did it? it? It's oh, done. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I can find it again. <laughs> Alright, so we're taking off. Uh, we might show some footage as we're driving through since we didn't get any last night. You can take a peek at where we're at. It's so. pretty cool. <laughs> So on the way back to Vegas, we decided to go through Death Valley because why not go through Death Valley in June yeah. to see how horrible it is. <laughs> yeah, usually you kind of we kind of stick to Death Valley in the winter, uh, but we've never come at come at it from the west before. Yeah. So we're like driving down into it. And so it's you really see, cool. Like, you can kind of see the canyon over yeah. here. It's very interesting. We're I think we're still fairly high up right now, so it's it's uh, a cool 95 degrees out, but I think about it's 115 to, or something like that down on the floor. So about to be. <laughs> yeah, well, we shall see. We're at like 2,000 feet, and it's already 106 degrees, so it's getting warm. I don't understand this. We just drove past a gas station in Death Valley, which I had no idea there was actually even one on this side that we came in on. So we got gas before driving here here, because obviously you don't want to run out of gas in Death Valley. In the and summer. Was, in the summer. <laughs> and if you you know, you would figure a gas station in the middle of nowhere, Death Valley, would be really expensive. 
but it was 25 cents cheaper than where we just filled up in California. Go figure. So it turns out that the bottom of Death Valley was indeed 115 degrees and it tired us out. So much that we stopped filming there, but that is not the end. Stay tuned for the reveal of the Dober Van's new ceiling. I wonder what color it'll be. And as we travel by plane for the first time since the pandemic. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next step of this ongoing adventure.